Oh, hey, hey, everybody. Um, wow, didn't know y'all were there. Um, it's me, Cullen. I'm back with another shave tonight, today, tonight, today, tonight, whatever it is. Who knows? Um, I'm in this room with artificial light, so it could be day, it could be night. The magic of modernization. Uh, tonight, I come to you with... One of my absolute favorite lime scented soaps, Sterling, Wayne the World Effect there, people. Gin and tonic, so good. This is absolute great. I need to just pull the trigger and buy the splash for this. I haven't because I have my Clubman Panaud, Panaud, whatever it's called, um, Lime Sec, and uh, it's, I love the way it smells, but I think I need to, I'm, I'm going to have to order that splash, um, but that's what I'm using for my software tonight, and for brush, I'm using my Craving Shaving, um, I call this one my, uh, Oh, golly, what's that? Um, in Memphis, Jerry Snow Cones. They have a, um, a snow cone, and I always get it. It's sour green apple and blue raspberry. Shock tart, that's what it is. And this is what it looks like. And it has a Craven Shaven uh, gelled boronat in it. Um, and then my green twin pines and wood turning. And I was feeling awful green today. I had a salad for dinner. I had a salad for lunch. Uh, I was snacking on some broccoli earlier. So I figured let's just keep the green train rolling. Um, my razor today will be new to me. And believe it or not, I've, I had one of these ones. And as soon as it came in the mail, I had already traded it out before I even got it to Craig um, over at Opus. Um, and so I finally got another one. I picked this one up from Kenneth Young. Um, this one is the A plate. Uh, the serial number on this one is um, very long. It's made in Canada. So Canada is being represented here. This has a super null handle. It actually, he actually sent it with the, uh, what's that called? This one. Um, Is this the haloed UFO? I believe it is. So now I have one, two, three, maybe four of these. On um, it's a good little handle. Um, but let's get on with the shave, seeing how y'all have decided to come and join me tonight. Um, and here I'm using nothing but your typical. Oh, I'm getting hypnotized. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Oh, okay. Um, just regular old, good old fashioned water boy H2O and I'm using my look at that lather oh Wayne when you watch this don't tell me my lather looks anemic tonight okay because this Jill board brought it baby oh yeah it brought the lather And when I got this gelled board, it was still pretty scritchy to me. Um, and that's probably because the gel board that I have um, has been used quite a lot. And so it's even more broken um, and softer. Um, and so Charles over at Craven Shaven did a great job um, gelling this. Oh, look at how gel that thing is. Um, but y'all know me. I just, I like everything gelled to the point of, y'all hear that? That was one big bloopity bloop. That one sounded like someone done made a boo-boo. Uh -oh. 
sorry, I was in the middle of um, messaging Kenneth and uh, my OCD kicked in and I went ahead and started filming the shave. So uh, Kenneth, if you watch my videos, not ignoring you. Um, well, I am, I guess, but uh, not to ignore you. Uh, but look at that man. Boy, that's some thick. I'll tell y'all what. Sterling soap. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I got to say. Makes such a good lather. Them in 345 Soap Company. Boy. So let's try this. I've never tried it. This has the A plate. A meaning ain't mild. Let's see. Alright, because see, I, I had a, um, I had a version two, um, the aluminum one, and that was no bueno, no bueno. No good at all. But this one is really good. Uh, I like the way that feels. It makes me want to order the open comb just to see how. Um, just to see how that will feel. Um, you know, Kenneth, when I bought this from him, um, I asked him if he had a, um, what's that, the black one thing, the vector that he wanted to sell. Uh, and he said the only reason he's selling this uh, is because he's been using his vector more. He said, but this was his favorite razor until he got his vector. Uh, But like Kenneth said he doesn't have, um, he doesn't have a lot of razors. He only has, I think he said two or three. Um, apparently he just likes the, uh, the soaps and the brushes. Um, you know, he always has something up for sale. Um, well, I shouldn't say always. Um, he goes through spurts, um. I bought a few beauties from him. Um, this excellent razor. Um, now I understand um, what he he is uh, saying. It's a uh, definitely a great shaver. Now I understand why uh, these things are always sold out, and I think they just recently came back in stock. But of course, you can never order anything from Italian Barber or Razor Rock uh, with the super, not the super normal, the uh, radio knob handle. Um, for whatever reason, the only way you could get that thing, it shows it not available in every razor, unless you go to like a, um, mentor or, um, one of their, um, lower end razors. Um, and those ones aren't even CNC. Oh, yeah, that went right in the eye. 
you know, I don't know if y'all have ever witnessed this on any YouTube channels before, but uh, son, let me tell you. Oh, uh, golly, wet shaving lather in the eye. on that sucker mm. I'm not one to cuss but mm. <clears throat> sure makes me want to think of a couple cuss mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let me just concentrate on how good this feels So that's been a first, y'all. I don't know if y'all have ever seen that, but I never have. I've seen people cut their ears and their nose and all kinds of crazy things. Um, but I've never seen somebody get soap in their eyes when they're lathering their cheeks. So hopefully I get the dipstick award for that one. Um, This Sterling soap is, um, it's so good. You know, and, um, I've never been to the part of Arkansas, um, where their store is. But from my understanding, um, from my understanding, the little town that they're in, in Arkansas, I don't know if it's where Rod or Mandy grew up. Um, or what, but, uh, apparently the town was kind of dying out, um, and Sterling over the years has, I'm probably going to say this wrong, so don't quote me on my information, this isn't all like, 100% factual. I don't know if it's Main Street or what, but from my understanding, they bought, they have ended up buying like the this whole street. It may be Main Street because it's where the uh, the old theater and everything was. Um, and um, everything is like Sterling. Um, I'm like shaving the wrong direction and everything. Um, yeah, you know, so they have their big store, <clears throat> pardon me, then they, uh, you know, they expanded to their roastery, and, um, Rod and Mandy, I don't know if y'all ever watch my channels, but I'm sorry I haven't ordered any of your coffee. Um, back before y'all went live with the coffee on one of my orders, um, I received a sample of it. Um, and then somebody, um, on a trade I made, um, they had a bunch of samples and they're like, okay, well, I'm kind of, they felt like they were getting the better. So they're like, here's a bunch of samples, um. You know, and two of them were your coffee samples, so I took those. 
I wish I remembered what it was because it was phenomenal coffee and I need to order some um, because it was great. Um, you know, I'm ex-army like y'all and um, I'm a coffee-holic. So uh, I need to, next time I order some soap from y'all, I actually have some stuff in my cart. Um, I think Haverford set and maybe a vanilla sandalwood. Um, something else. And I just talked to y'all about the barber shop. Um, it looks like Laser Emporium or somebody had that in stock. So I'm going to order that. The aftershave. But when I place my next order with you all, I'll uh, order some coffee. And when I get it in, I'll do a sterling shave with my sterling coffee. Um, yeah. I guess I need to get a sterling brush too, huh? Sterling coffee mug. We'll just go all sterling shape one day. But if there's any people new to the hobby um, and you haven't tried sterling, it is excellent, excellent. Um, bang for your buck soap, excellent performance. It's not just cheap in cost because it's horrible soap. It's cheap in cost because Rod and Mandy, um, who are husband and wife, are committed to um, providing a good product while keeping the price affordable for everybody. Um, I commend them for it. Um, And that's kind of, you know, three, four, five soap companies' uh, philosophy, too, is, um, you know, John, me and him were talking, and he said, I just enjoy making soap, man. And I told him, I said, well, I enjoy using your soap, so keep it up. Um, so that's, I think, this is going to be past three. The Sterling has some great scents out there. They have some great cologne dupes. Um, they have fruity stuff. They have cologne dupes. They have, they have everything. Um, they're tried and true. Um, yeah, and don't y'all forget, um, Twin Pines Wood Turning, you get, um, you know, if there's a shave bowl that y'all are wanting a certain color, um, go to their Etsy store and just go to one of their shave bowls and go, or go to message them and just say, you know, I'm wanting a shave bowl, um, I watch Pelagic Shave. He always uses your bowls. They look good, whatever. Um, but if you mention the code Pelagic Shave 10, they'll take 10% off the price of the bowl for you. He could pretty much do whatever colors. Um, this one, I asked him, I said, can you make me like a Granny Smith Apple Green with pearl um, white and tons of glitter? And he did it. Uh, I asked him to make me one the color of my um, logo, and he did it. I'd show you, but um, it's on its way back to me now. I sent it to Craig. Craig had to pimp it out for me. Um,
but they are um, Don and Carol Bird are very nice people. Um, they'll work with you. Um, I know lately he's been really backed up. Um, yeah, the past uh, two years with COVID, um, say um but apparently they used to do a lot of trade shows and stuff like that and covid y'all um you know how it killed all the flea markets and all that stuff all the trade shows no one was doing them because everyone was afraid of covid and then all the mandates and all that well since they've opened it back up um don's been turning and burning um trying to keep up with all the trade shows they have going. And so, um, you know, it's taking him longer to get stuff done. So be patient. Um, you know, I asked him to work on another one for me. Um, and I told him, you know, I have three or four year bulls or five, whatever I have. I said, so, I'm in no hurry, so just whenever Don slows down, you know, the winter time's coming, so no hurry. But uh, reach out and message them, and he'll get you a quality bowl that I'm sure you'll enjoy. Um, $45 for all resin hand turd bowl. Show me another artisan you could get that from. But uh, anyways, let me get cleaned up, and... I'll be back. And we're back. All right, let's go over what we used tonight. Um, sorry it took me so long. I had to shave the old chrome dome in there. It takes a long time to shave this big old nugget. Um, but Sterling Gin and Tonic. Like I said, if you haven't tried Sterling, strongly, strongly advise it. Um, and then I used my Twin Pines Wood Turning Bowl. Um, there will be a link, like always in my videos, to their Etsy store. And I will have directions also about Plagic Shave 10 to get the 10% discount. <coughs> my Craven Shaven Shock Tart Brush. And my new to me um, Razor Rock Hawk with an A plate. Excellent, excellent shave. And uh, to finish it off, we're going to go with the Clubman Lime Sec. This is going to sting because it's nothing but alcohol. Yeah, not too bad. So that was a really good shave on the face there. It just barely, barely even stings. Oh, and that's unusual. Usually Clubman stuff burns the fire out of me, so... Wow, that thing gave an exceptional shave tonight. Um, but tomorrow, I'm not sure what razor I'm going to use, but I think for soaps tomorrow, I'm going to use um, tomorrow. I'm gonna spotlight a um, buddy of mine soap. Um, it's called Mountain Hair Shaving. This soap scent is called Crackalackin. And he also made a miracle salve for it. Um, I'll give you a quick sneak peek at it. Um, and I've used this soap before and it is, it is so good. Um, but so that's what we'll use tomorrow for soap um, and that. And razor and brush, we'll pick that out tomorrow. 
But thank you for joining me again for another Pelagic Shave. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment if you would, please. If you have any questions, put them down below. Um, and I'll get to them. A lot of times I don't get the email saying that there was comments made. So I'm sorry if I don't get to you right away. Um, I really need to put a link to my email down below, which is plagiatshave at gmail.com. Um, but uh, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, plagiatshave, gmail.com. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you. And once again, take care, be safe, and God bless.